the comment section gets wilder. Okay, you guys ready for this? Because we're not done. Oh, sorry, everything's zoomed up now. Wah, 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 wah. Let's keep going. Oh my God, where is, where are the comments? Oh, there they are. Okay, so now they do this playlist, how to avoid being a baby. Now this person, Boba T, I don't know who they are, but they're like the only person who's commented on their stuff. <laughs> so this person is kind of fact checking them. So at 2618, apparently he says, I haven't been to college or something. Then they go, I think she's out of college. Actually, I watched her on Sad Milk. There's evidence she's out of college. Yes, I have graduated with a bachelor's. I'm literally in college right now to go after my master's. Um, so yeah. And then this is how they respond. She fell for the college scam. The college scam. <laughs> that would explain her poverty consciousness and victimhood mindset. Like the audacity. <laughs> uh, right air, just bruh. Just bruh is all this is. <laughs> And so Boba T goes, I think that someone doesn't need to go to college to have a good life, but I also think that you'll get a good education if you go to one. Yes, colleges should be free and they are pretty expensive, but we shouldn't have doctors without them. So I'll politely disagree on that one. And I agree too. Not everyone has to go to college. Some of my like, some of my closest friends have, did not go to college. They dropped out of college. Like at one point I dropped out of college to work on my first business. Like before YouTube, I had a business and I sold it and all of that. And I dropped out of college because I chose to focus on my business. So like, I literally did not fall for the college scam. Like it's wild. <laughs> so then she made a video talking about how she doesn't want to use certain minerals in her soaps because it was mind using child labor. And that's the mica video. And so honestly, soap making is her passion. So he thinks that once again, soap is, I guess like another form of me taking money, which as you guys know, the soap channel hasn't made videos. I haven't streamed any soap yet. And there's most certainly not any soap for sale because I'm like such a damn perfectionist about that shit. And I was like, it's one thing if you're making soap for yourself, like as a hobby, right? Like if the soap like comes out a little lumpy or ugly or whatever, like I understand, you know, and I go, okay, well, I made that. I know what I made that with. I know how I made it. It's fine. I'll use it. But like, I feel to sell soap, it has to be like perfect and beautiful. So I keep like, in my opinion, making soaps that are not good enough and that the formulas are just not not good enough, not this enough, the design isn't pretty enough. So I just keep getting like angry, you know what I mean? So <laughs> so this person's like, I think soap making is her passion. I was like, you damn right it is. I said I was gonna open the soap shop in what, September? And we're in November now and I still haven't done it. So now this person responds, still it's typical of people who have been ran through our education system to be greedy, selfish people who only care about their own causes to grow her channel and to get views. She tears entrepreneurship down to become more successful. But that is a but that is YouTube, a bunch of complainers with negative views. That is really, really ironic coming from him. When we talk about this, right, again, he's got some kind of beef with the education system, which I agree. It should be free to go to college. There should not be a paywall to get your education. I do believe in that. And I do have some videos and some scripts written about things discussing like college board and how the tests are kind of fucked up and all this kind of stuff. And, and it's not fair essentially that these rules, weird arbitrary rules and tests are put on you to value your future worth in society. I think that's awkward as hell. And yeah, I'm not into child labor. Yeah, <laughs> Blair, I don't like child labor. This guy, hmm, how selfish. <laughs> then this person, sorry for commenting so much, but I'd love to see some sources. And you know what? Me too, guys. But we looked at his description box and there were no sources, right? We can scroll back up to the top if you want, but there were no sources. So what do you guys, how do you guys think he responded? All proof is in the video right there. That's his only proof. That's his only proof. It's right there in the video. It's the it's the it's the whole do your own research. The it's in the vaccine pamphlets. <laughs> the source scam. <laughs> This part in this video, what Boba T is referring to is how he's gonna talk about that I only do MLM videos for money, but a lot of my videos, as a matter of fact, um, throwing like of all my videos, like I upload three times a week, right guys? Monday is the multi-level marketing thing, right? And then Wednesday and Friday are not MLM videos. So two thirds of my channel are not even about MLMs, which is what this person claims my whole channel's about. So it's kind of like funny. <laughs> the person just asks me, what is this video? <laughs> That's a good question. That's what we're gonna figure out today. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna figure that out today. So now that's literally the whole comment section is this one person and then this like 
YouTuber, I guess, kind of trying to go after me. So now before we even get to this video still, I wanna show you guys one more thing. Is Boba T actually convinced by this asshat or are they too nice for their own good? I think they might be too nice for their own good, which is unfortunate. So we're gonna go now to this person's homepage because I believe here, welcome to my YouTube channel, right? So again, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, he live streamed it. Oh, so this is Andrew. Oh, Andrew, you poor soul. Anyway, I saw some, yeah, wannabe guru, do epic shit, underwater basket weaver. 